What's going on, guys? Oh my god, we're dude, we're running like every orange light right now. It's like six o'clock in the morning, and I'm driving to the shore with my buddy Tan, and we're gonna go down there and meet up with an old friend of mine whose name is Josh, and he works at a boat dealership. They've got a 30-foot used Grady White that he has rights to today. Uh, yeah, he's gonna take it out there, and we're gonna go fish out of Manasquan Inlet out there in North Jersey. But yeah, it's gonna be a good time, so let's go see if Tan Bowie is awake. All right, here we are. This is the boat. This is Josh. 600 horsepower on this thing. And and this thing's for sale, right? Hell yeah. It is for sale, so if you people like what you see here, I mean, you can always check out Brennan Boat. No, 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 no. check out Josh. Oh, Josh, Josh. Yeah, comment on the video and I'll... Uh... Yep, I'll leave his information maybe in the description yep. of the video or something. This guy's got a shrimp net trying to scoop some bunker. Oh, man. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. They're coming. Yeah, right. There they are. They're down there. See them? You got them, dude. They're, so hard. they're yeah, fast. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, they... Not a... Elusive, yeah. <laughs> Damn. No offense to Josh, he doesn't know this water. He's a southern Jersey fisherman. He's never fished up here. We don't know any good spots. So all day we're gonna just be looking for marks on the electronics of uh, structure. Got these uh, fancy fish finders and avionics depth, all kinds of stuff. I don't even know what this stuff is, but. And uh, we're pretty much just gonna fish random spots and hope for the best. Uh, we're gonna get it started here with a two ounce spro. We're gonna try to jig fluke. We're in like 60, 70 feet of water. There's like a couple odd little things suspended like 15 feet off the bottom. Yeah, see that. There you go. How am I gonna catch one before you, Tan? We got a fluke on, Josh. Yeah. Didn't take long. Nah, he's good, we're good. It's a little guy. He's gone. Man, holy shit. Yeah, they're down there. Well, that's the first gulp ne nemesis right there. <laughs> that, yeah, that shit didn't take long, right? No. Oh. First drop. Fluke. Marking. No, there's there's a little little structure down there. Yeah, it's good. Got him. You got him. Hopefully, it's not a four-inch sea bass. Still got it, right? Oh, damn. Double robin. Double robin. <laughs> What's up with that thing? He's got like the fattest neck. Ah, oh, instant, instant bite, yeah. There we go. Drop and reel. That's not a flounder. I don't think. Sea biscuit. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because we're, we're right on that wreck. Yeah. Keeper. Yeah, drop them in that fucking line. All right. The limit is two sea biscuits per person. So there's one. That's at least in the box. That was it. Uh, you can either put them in the cooler. Or in the live well. You can put them in the live well. Except I'll just put it in here because it's right here. I want to get back down there. Hell yeah, Josh. <laughs> this guy never. Never fished this reef before. Nah, it just rolls up. I said the sea bassing has been really good lately. That's a little better. Oh yeah. There you go. There you go. You got a real one? You got a keeper. It's better than I thought it was gonna be, dude. Like having no idea what we were doing. This is the I, first I, little spot I've yeah. checked out. Let me, I'll be honest with you. This chart, it sucks balls. There's nothing on this chart. He doesn't have a chip in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I see on my phone, on the Navion, on the Navionics app, mm -hmm. I'm seeing way more bottom detail than anything this thing's showing me. Basically, it's, it's, it's tracking my drift. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn, that hit me right in the nuts. You want 
to try to find another piece of wreck or you want to go around for those rocks? I think we should go to those rocks. Klondike rocks. Go find a headboat? Yeah. Oh. Fish on. Sea bee. Sea biscuit. Oh. That'll keep. Oh, there's your tail. Yeah, good. Put that tail on right Yeah. Yeah, there had to be one keep, keeper CB right there. Keeper or so, I don't know about the. Might want to wait for a bigger one to fulfill the limit. Oh, Mr. Webster. Smacking him. What did it be, 15? 12 and a half. I mean, that's a keeper, but. I don't think we're going to be struggling to get a sea bass limit, you know. Oh. Never know. That's my limit. That's your limit. Yeah, I got a limit. All right, the drift is a little fast today. I'm using a four ounce, bro. Up from the two ounce. Still sticking with the six inch, whatchamacallums. Yeah. Omar would keep that. Hey, flounder. There's some flounder down there. That is a fat flounder, dude. Oh my oh, god, he's shit. fat. Damn, he's fat. You guys going basically straight back? Yeah. I just recast it. Tan's got something good. Yeah, you're over a real nice piece. Oh yeah. Swing him in. Nice. All right, well this was 66 to 76 feet of water. Two miles long. We're gonna run two miles. As soon as we get off of this piece. Yeah, we're gonna finish this drift. We got five CBs in the boat though. And that's pretty good for the first drift, or oh, first spot. Two short fluke. It's a good start. Pretty perfect weather. Yeah. Up the way a little bit when we go a little deeper here, and then it should be. Actually, it really depends on what kind of bottom we end up seeing. Damn! A good hook set. They're on this thing, for sure. Yeah. If it's a keeper, then that's our limit. This biscuits. Oh, that's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Dang. Biggest so far. Real nice sea bass. Hell yeah. That's how the captain rolls right yeah. there. You didn't want those small keepers. Oh, oh yeah. That's a cool color, man. That's a nice one. Fish of the day so far. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be some good eats right there. How many we got in there now? Six, that's our limit. Yeah? Yeah. Tan had to go and throw like the 13 incher in there. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. We've got our limit of sea bass here, 60, 70 feet of water. A couple short fluke. A lot of bunker schools. We're gonna go a little further out here. See if we can't find some uh, some real flounder. Yeah, let's measure them. Oh, dude, that's that's yeah. Put your crabs on ice or something. Eighteen inch. We just came out to a different zone, 70 feet of water. Let's see what happens. Uh, next spot. All right, we just got to a new spot and the wind is blowing like 25 miles an hour now. It's out of nowhere. Flounder. Yeah. This is the targeted species. You got one too? Alright. Ah, CB. It is a flounder. Alright. This 
bite is tough. Wind is tough. Flounder fishing is tough. There's two party boats over there. We're gonna go fish over there. Back when it was 50 per man, that was probably some good times. Hmm. As long as Tan Billy's killing some kind of fish, he's happy. If it's Sea Robbins, I mean, you can tell he's happy. He's having a good time. Top and bottom rig, clams. Oh yeah, that's something. That's a flounder. That ain't no sea robin. One of the biggest sea robins. Nah, nah, flounder, flounder. You don't know nothing that, right? Uh, I mean, flip him, flip him. It's not a keeper, but you can measure, measure. It's close. Eh, that might keep, man. That might keep. I think he's coming. He's coming. Here, um, let me get a tape measure on him real quick. Uh, don't lose him now. Oh, yeah, dude. He's going all day. 19 all day. Yeah. Never been so happy to see a small keeper flounder. Hell yeah. All right. Hell yeah. Dude. Yeah, dude. That's awesome. All right, so Tan was fishing with these clams on a top and bottom rig, and he was swinging sea robins all day. And um, especially once the wind picked up, he really seemed to have dialed in on that sea robin bite. Uh, the flounder fishing was really slow. It was a good thing he was keeping all these sea robins, though, because it was entertaining, if nothing else. And, uh, you know, he was harvesting them. And after a little while, I went over and I looked at the bucket up at the front of the boat. And he had, he had already filled a bucket. I don't know. It was pretty impressive, actually. I've never seen someone catch so many sea robins. What am I supposed to do? Stand there and jig all day like you? Uh, no, I mean, do whatever makes you happy, but. There you go. <laughs> Keepers, too. Oh, yeah. Keeper. That's good, man. Like, if you were on shore and you caught a bucket like that, and you posted it on the internet. People would be there the next day, getting their piece of the pie. Oh, beautiful. Man, the fishing is phenomenal. Phenomenal oh, fishing with Captain Webster. Captain Webster. I feel like I just have like 20 sea robins like following my jig right now. It's like all taking turns, like nipping at it. You guys are just chilling up from up for me. Yeah. All right. That stick. Gotta get in the zone. Pick it up. Have some fish. That was like probably one of the better drifts of the day for the robin. <laughs> this guy oh, is a freaking savage. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, you gotta get, you gotta get it. Finish it off. Finish off the bucket. Oh my God, that is a nice freaking bucket. Full. Oh my God. There's water. In there. Yeah, there's water in there. But still, it's probably like 20 pounds of sea robin. Times are tough out here. Josh is feeling a little exhausted from the heat. And tied this rope to the cleat in there. He's gonna, he's gonna do something. I'm trying to slow our drift down a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna take one for the team. And uh, uh, nothing on the dead stick. <laughs> you don't have a drift sock, so exactly. in order, in order to try to hopefully slow our drift down so that Tan can resume double headers. You know, we gotta. I'm very dedicated. <laughs> to make sure my guys catch the fish. Yeah. Oh, there's a bite on your rod. Look at that. Look at that. Fish on? Yeah. He's got a freaking rope. Oh! Double header. <laughs> Damn! Two on the same hook. That's how you do it, dude. 
That's how you do it. Look at that. That's serious skill right there. Well done. I don't see that every day. Uh, and then like one of them's a keeper. That one, well that one's a, a short, but that one right there, yeah, Tan will eat that. Tan, there you go. Don't make it to the car. Man. <laughs> drift is far too fast. Certainly need a drift south. Just watch, watch the sea robin. Let's get out there. <laughs> What's going on over here? Dang. Getting that second bucket going. Hey, it's looking good. Yeah. All right. There it goes. <laughs> Man overboard. How's that feel? Yeah? That's a fantastic idea right there. Look at this. Our drift our drift speed was at 1.2. Now it's 1.0. 0.08. 1.1, yeah. Very strong drift. You think the uh, fish gods are gonna remember what you've done to the, to the sea robin's tan? Man, hot bite. Tan just got the catch of the day. Look at that. That's what you need right there, nice squid. What are we gonna do with that squid? I mean, we're obviously not throwing it back, but we're gonna eat it and use it for bait. Let me get him. I'll drop him down. All right. That's beautiful. Beautiful squid right there. We're gonna hook him and drop him down. That's that's the best uh, best one in a while. That's glorious. Uh, got something on the squid. I think it's a, I think it's a skate. No, it's not a skate. This might be a fluke. I don't know what it is, to be honest. Oh, snaps. Dude, I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't know if this is anything good. It's not a flounder. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Nah, it's not a sea bass. It might be a fluke. It's a fluke. It's not a keeper. I don't know, maybe. We'll net it. It might be a keeper. Definitely a keeper. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Turning that live squid into live flounder. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. For sure. Damn, dude, that is some good shit right there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. On the frickin' squid that Tan caught. That's awesome. Makes... Yeah, 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 that was sick. Live squid turns into a... I mean, look at that, that's a fatty That's a keeper, hell yeah. Keeper all day. Tan, do you really think we're off the drift? Or is there like a certain... Yeah, I'm just gonna measure him. He's 20. Damn, he didn't look like a keeper to me when he was in the water. Yeah, he's 20. Hey, man. 20 good. incher, hell yeah. Dude, tell you what, you got... That, that squid that I have is, is like... Real good quality Ooh. shit. Yeah. Might not hurt. Might not yeah. hurt, just throw a fucking... Oh, fuck, oh, I just fucking ripped the mouth out of something. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. There, that's sick. That's a nice fish. That's sick. And that's, it's so cool what you caught it on. That like makes it even better. Hell yeah. Caught it on tan squid. A live squid. Ow. Sea robin slam. Oh, cow nose. So that's all we got for today. Hopefully you enjoyed watching.
That guy's gonna sleep hard tonight. <laughs> Reeling in all those robins. But yeah, that's all we got. See you next time.